My boyfriend called my mom hot. I don't know if I'm just insecure, but yesterday I showed a picture of my mom to my boyfriend since he has met her and I wanted him to see how she looks before he meets her. When he say her his eyes widened, and he flat out said, Your mom's hot as hell now, you might be thinking, okay that's it. Well no because after that I kept catching him looking at that same picture and sighing. His best friend even told me about how, he was saying that my mom looked better than me, and that if he had met her when she was younger, he would have been in that. I'm actually so disgusted, and weirded out by him, I haven't told my mom yet, but when I brought it up to him, and expressed to him that I didn't like how he kept calling my mom hot. He said I was insecure and dramatic, and then asked if it's that time of the month and not sure what to do, has just pissing me off. Comments. I agree 100. Just wondering who the hell dates a woman and focuses on the sexiness of their mother to the woman they are dating. Cringeworthy and a red flag. Who wants a BF staring at their mom and possibly hitting on them over Christmas dinner. You need to end it. I've read too many real stories about boyfriends hooking up with mothers. And I'm not saying that your mom would do that, but there are plenty of moms that have. Also, the fact that he called you insecure and dramatic because you set a boundary is worrisome. He does not respect you. I had a boyfriend who did that. He met my mom and afterwards told me how hot she was. Then when I was on the phone with her or mentioned her, he would say and gesture some pretty inappropriate things. It didn't take more than a few months for me to realize that he wasn't the one for me. This is a red flag and probably not a relationship I would recommend staying in. To say it once as a compliment is one thing, but to keep going on about it, that's just not right. My bus dog bit me. My supervisor didn't let me go to a doctor. So today, in the morning while I was at work, my boss brought his dog to the workplace because apparently his dog sitter canceled. He did not put the dog on a leash or in his office. I work an office job. Imagine a boring cubicle with a person pushing buttons. That's me. The dog was being aggressive and growling at everything and everyone that was moving. Many people asked the boss to keep the dog in his office, but he wouldn't listen. Apparently he's a good boy and 20 people were at fault, not the dog. He was right outside my cubicle and without any provocation he just started barking came into my cubicle and bit my leg. It was fine till he was barking, but I didn't really have a chance to defend myself when he lunged forward. Everything was all of a sudden. I was shouting, my colleagues gathered around. The boss finally put a leash on his dog, all the while cussing me and blaming me for all of this. I wanted Ro go to a hospital, but my supervisor had the audacity to ask me to complete my hours and then go. I threatened to press charges and rushed out. I'm pressing charges. Edit 1. Wow. Thank you everyone for checking on me, providing me with resources to contact and everything. I got in touch with a lawyer. I pressed charges. The lawyer says that I really shouldn't worry about anything, medical bills, or comp, everything is looking super positive, and that I will get compensated for everything. It's a workplace injury and negligence on the part of the boss, so the paycheck will be high. The ex-boss has since apologized hundreds of times, but I am not going to back off. To those who think I live in Germany, I used to live there when I studied. After my university, I stayed there for a while and then changed countries for the job. I thought the rules don't allow me to tell where I live, but it's not Germany. It's down south. Comments. Get a witness statement, if possible. Call me cynical. But embedding your boss's description of what happened is going to be highly different than yours. You provoked the dog by kicking it. You provoked the dog by screaming at the animal. You grabbed the dog's paws and dragged it across the floor. That is why you got bitten. Don't forget that since it happened at work from conditions your boss has created, this should be a worker's comp claim too.